So, what's wrong with this picture? Well, <laughs> turns out the brushes on the mill are gone. Uh, that's all that was driving it. I couldn't believe it was actually still going. Uh, so I've got a couple of replacement coming. Also got a little speed sensor uh, replacement coming as well. So while we're waiting for that, be using the vertical mill on the Boxford. This is the lifting link, silver soldered up. I'm just milling the um, milling the angle on it. Yeah, silver solder mill, drill and ream. And I'm going to put a tapered pin through it in the shaft on the engine. It's actually not doing too bad a job. I'm quite surprised. Oh so yeah, careful cuts. Slow going, but all good. There's them in place. Uh, I've just got to drill the pins and put the split pins in uh, before I harden the pins. I've done the die blocks on there, and now I'm just doing the lifting links. So this is actually gauge plate. Um, which will harden, I think, when I silver solder silver solder the buttons on. So what I've done is I've drilled out, drilled them out six mil at the right centres, and then just done centres in the buttons, which are stainless. And then once they're silver soldered, I can drill and ream them without um, going through any of the hardened or potentially hardened material. Um, that's the theory, anyway. We'll see if it works, eh? <laughs> Just drilling up holes for split pins uh, for the for the cotter pins. Uh, mill still out of action, so still with the good old milling slide. Still slow all around the Corkner Road junction at Chichester. Also queues eastbound to Crossbush. Ongoing works on the A31 at Sturminster Marshall leading to delays. Very slow southbound through Carley Cross with lights near Ensbury Bridge. Also very congested on Ringwood Road from Ferndown. So I've just managed to get this together. Valves are moving and everything. Um, the the reversing action is quite tight, but I'm sure it will come in with time. It's not fouling or anything. It's literally just tightness. I've actually made these as a uh, right hand thread and then a left hand thread on this end. Um, so I can, all I've got to do is turn this to adjust the, you know, the, where the valve's located, as well as obviously I've still got to set the eccentrics where they need to be. So that'll be the next job. After that, make the gasket for this and probably give him a test on air. So I made a few fittings up. There's a guy on YouTube called David Richards who I follow. He has a uh, really nice old style steam workshop out in New York. Um, and he sh I actually watched one of his videos on how to quarter the flywheel so that you can set the valves. Um, so first step is just to mark Two places just after top dead centre and bottom dead centre on the travel. So you can see I've got top dead there. So that dot is just after top dead centre, you can see. And then what you do is you set a bar across a point. Let it focus. And then what you do 
and when he reaches it on one side of the stroke you do a mark yeah and then going the other way when he reaches that side of the stroke see I've got another mark just here and then literally what you do is you draw two arcs with a compass one from each side and then the exact centre of that is your in this case high pressure top dead centre and then with the same bar line him up and then you can see there that is definitely top dead centre so you can find top dead bottom dead on both pistons and then I think I'll need to set the valves just two degrees before so they open just two degrees before they're a fair way out at the moment but yeah that's how you quarter the flywheel